What's up YouTube? It's your boy Noah. I decided to make a video real quick because I have some really cool news. Um, for those of you following my journey, this has nothing to do with uh, gender. Um, this is entirely about my scholastic work. So as I talked about it briefly in my uh, introduction video, I'm a, a graduate student up at the Big H and I'm doing a master's thesis at the moment, um, working on it. So I turned in my thesis proposal back in January, that got approved, and so the uh, only other thing that I was waiting on to move forward with my project was to get assigned a thesis director. Guess who's got two thumbs and has a thesis director? So excited. So I'm going to go out and celebrate. I don't have a lot of money, but I found a little rainy day stack of, you know, 15 bucks. So I'm going to go get myself a couple of beers, and I decided I'm going to dress up. And not just dress up, but show you guys, if you want to know, how to tie a bow tie. There are a lot of videos out there um, already to teach you how to tie a bow tie, but um, for the FTM, trans and gender queer family, figured you might want to see one of us do it. And also, so you don't feel bad about yourself, um, wouldn't hurt for you to see someone struggle through it. So, anyway putting a bow tie on and go out and have a few beers and celebrate. Button your shirt up all the way to the top. Step one, have a reason to celebrate because bow ties are to be worn on special occasions. Um, step two, acquire a bow tie, a real one guys, not the ones that are, you know, preset, clip on. Don't be that guy. And step three is tie the bow tie. The fun thing about bow ties is that they actually tell you on the inside what size of bow tie you've got in your hand, what you're working with, depending on the collar of your shirt. Um, this one, for example, I usually wear 16 and a half, so this one's a 17 and a half, it's a little bit bigger. So I made sure to put this little deal in the right spot. Let me actually take it out and put it back in the spot to show you. Do it carefully, don't, don't rip up a pretty bow tie. All right, so for example, I'm um, wearing a 17 and a half shirt, quarter, half. You want to put this guy right in that little slot, just like so. It hooks in. Pull it out, and there you go. Right size bow tie. All right. Next up. Make sure it's pretty even, and then make it a little bit uneven. Uh, I think the rule of thumb is like an inch or two of, of difference here. All right, take the longer end, make a standard knot, simple knot, right there. Right. So one side's going to be a little bit shorter than the other. Take the shorter end and go ahead and push forward this way and shape it. All right? It's already shaped like what you expect a bow tie to be shaped like. Once you have that, take this end, go all the way to the back, all the way around, pull it down. So now you look like the cat in the hat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but it's, I, I feel like that's, yeah, that's the cat in the hat. That's, that's what his bow tie looks like, just undone or halfway done. All right, once you have that, that step, if you feel inside right here, there's a loop that you've created now. Make sure you can put your finger entirely through it. All right, don't pull on it too hard. All right, that loop, you now, actually we want to do it with the other finger. Okay, it's there. You want to take this end now and push it through, and it's going to come out looking like this on the other side. So this end's already, you know, folded over. I'm going to pull it through this way so that when it's all the way through, it's also folded over. All right, so do that. Make sure you're not pulling it too loose because you want to keep that tightness there. All right. I'm really, really bad at this, which is why I thought it'd be funny to just go ahead and take a video of me attempting to do this. 
well, I'm really horrible at this. Right? Obviously, you want it to be flat, not a giant knot underneath the front. All right, once you've pulled it through, all right, you want to shape it. It's not going to be perfect at first, and that's perfectly fine. God, why am I so bad at this? Okay, you want to shape it. Obviously, that's not done. And you want to start tightening it. A couple of ways of doing that is to pull on each side. All right, and then underneath, tug a little bit. There you go. Of course, you want your bow tie to not only be even, but to be snug. You don't want it to be too loose. All right. I'm so, so bad at this. So again, any guys at home that are, you know, in transition and maybe you've been wearing guys clothes for a while, maybe you're just now starting to, and if you're struggling with this, you know, don't feel bad. There are a lot of cis guys who have zero idea how to do this. All right, so the way I just tightened that actually, all right, I pulled on this side while holding that, and also tug a little on this side. All right, like I said, there are a couple of ways to do it, as long as you're making sure that the whole deal is even. All right, I don't think I really did this very well, but here we go. Pull on that side. Whatever. It's kind of weird not on this side. I don't think that's correct. I should probably title this video How Not to Tie a Bow Tie. Because now it's totally uneven. Let's see. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much how not to tie a bow tie. If I were actually to be going out somewhere, you know, black tie and fancy, this is not how I would go out. Well, I would start it over, but I want to go out and have a drink and celebrate my good day. Yeah. I'm not going to bore you through a retie. Luckily, I have a regular tie here on hand. Well, that looks better anyway. Okay. All right. Yeah. Step four. If you're running late, fuck it and wear a regular skinny tie. I like to wear a tie clip. I usually tend to put it right above the third button there. Make sure you're tying, your, sorry, make sure you're clipping your tie to the shirt itself, otherwise it's pointless. Whole reason for it is in case it gets windy, your tie doesn't fly around everywhere. If you're buying tie clips, make sure you get some that are made for skinny ties. They look good with both wider and skinny ties, so they're versatile. Splash of pink, because that's my favorite color. Mainly because no one would expect it, because I like to defy certain masculine stereotypes. All right, here we go. Step five, put the bow tie in the closet and deal with it next time you actually have time to tie a bow tie. All right, guys. Uh, the real reason for the video, obviously, was to just update you on um, the academic stuff. So I have a thesis director. I'll be writing a short story collection over the next year. Um, my main characters are going to mostly be uh, Latino, Latinx characters, people of color. And, of course, I'm going to uh, toss in some gender nonconforming characters, um, at least one trans guy in there. So the stories will be not necessarily autobiographical, but obviously I'm going to use a lot of my own life experience in some of these. So whenever I'm done with the book, I'm hoping to get an agent and get that published. And, you know, you guys will be the first to know. Anyway, this is your boy Noah. Peace and love. Enjoy your day. Happy Tuesday. Take care of yourself.